Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So, um, I have a few messages that came out while I was shuffling both of these spreads. So I'm going to relay that for you. And if the messages resonate, uh, do watch the rest of this video. Okay. If not, then, you know, you might want to, um, take whatever resonates with you, or you can watch uh, another video instead. Okay. But I feel it's, um, channel messages for specific select few that are going through some issues. Okay. Um, the, the spread doesn't indicate to me anything bad. It's just uh, I have a few things here. So the first message here is um, you've got a really good thing going. You want to nurse and cherish the relationship and the grass isn't always greener. Okay. So I feel like that um, speaks to for those of you who are like flirting outside your relationship you might think it's harmless fun and you might feel like oh i'm just flirting at the end of the day i'm still going back to my partner i feel like that behavior undermines your partner's um self-esteem and then i also feel like your partner especially if you just started dating and they see you as a flirt um it it might be a major turnoff for them especially if they've got a lot of pride Okay, and in particular, if you're dealing with a fire sign, you, you know, they want to be first and they're quite competitive and they're quite jealous and they've got a lot of pride and I feel like it might prick their ego and so they might not see you as a serious, you know, relationship partner. So for those who are newly dating, okay, so tone down on the flirtation and then for others who are already uh, with a good partner, I feel like there's temptation to flirt and you might feel once again flirting is is um it's just fun I, i'm not doing anything bad or you know it, it's um it's harmless no it's not harmless so be careful about that the second message that i have here is um i feel like it's really time for you to take stock of your life Okay, I, I feel almost like some of you are coming out of a major slumber. And uh, I got this for Sagittarius, the beginning of the month. And I feel like this energy is, um, is showing up in your reading. And it's almost like I've been so focused on other things, on other people, on relationships. I need to take better care of myself. And you're coming to the realization that... You need to put yourself first. You need to work on and, and build your own self. And the third message that came out when I was shuffling here is um, I, I keep seeing this, you know, scanning the horizon for new opportunities and not really looking at what's in front of you. Okay, so it's really time for us to get grounded and take stock of what's in our environment. Okay, and appreciate the people that are around us and and not take things for granted okay so let's go into your reading here pisces um the person that you're dealing with here well let me talk first of all about how they see you okay the energy that you bring to the table i have here the two of swords and this big feather what i feel is somebody feels that you're very flirtatious and they feel like you might be a tease okay um, on the one hand, I, I feel like it's it's very distant. So it, it's sort of like teasing from afar, flirting from afar, um, having a lot of suitors, having a lot of people that tickle your fancy or having a lot of people that, that um, it, it's, this is sort of like the performer, the person who's on stage, okay? All eyes are on you. And I feel almost like the attention is, is, is really nice. You know, the, the limelight is on you, the spotlight is on you, the attention is all on you. And so I'm inclined to feel like you have a lot of suitors. Some of you might be single coming into this month or this week, and you have a lot of suitors. You have a lot of people that are looking at you. And you're expanding your energy outward, talking to a lot of people, interacting with a lot of people, and complimenting a lot of people, but also this flirtatious um, flirting and, and teasing and, you know, um, even with people that you might not have any feelings for or even people that you might not have any intentions to date, okay? So that's the energy that you bring to the table. How the person sees you, the person you're dealing with, the person that's significant in your life, 
in love and relationships. We have here the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is、uh, turning over like a major, major、uh, new chapter in your life, okay? Overcoming a lot of turbulence from to get you where you are today. Many of you have also,、um, like, are, are well traveled. You might hail from a different environment and then you recently settled somewhere.、Um, I feel as well, travel is calling. You've got the, the, the travel bug. You might also be interacting with people who are very, very different from you culturally, ethnically, linguistically. So, your partner sees you as someone who's different, who is exotic, who Does things in a different manner. So, I do feel there might be some cultural issues that needs to overcome either communication barriers, cultural expectations of what relationships are supposed to be like from your perspective and then from the other person that you're dealing with. So, I do see a cultural divide. However, there are two people on the boat. They're working in tandem to move themselves to a better place, okay? So, whatever difficulties you and your per,、uh, partner h a s had, I feel like you're moving to a safer place. You're, you're like、um, crossing the waters and, and, and working together as a team in order to reach a place of safety. For some of you in relationships,、um, financial hardships, And worry, you know, what's gonna happen? What's gonna、um, be in store for us tomorrow? Do we have enough income? Do we have a place to live? And all of these things. You're doing this with another person, and I feel like the two of you are working together to、uh, smooth out, you know, all the, 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 the rough patches in your relationship. They feel that I was always there for you, Pisces. They feel like, you know,、um, I, I was there when things were rough. You were there for me as well. We're in it together. And so, if we have you know, sailed on from a lot of hardships together in the past, and now you're scanning the horizon for other people, they might not take kindly to that. Okay? They might say, like, I was always there for you. And once again, this energy could flow both ways, but I feel like this blue energy. I feel like it's very indicative of the way that they see you, okay? But once again, the energy can be reversed, okay? So don't get upset. Your partner, we have here the sun. This is somebody who has fame and fortune and is very visible. So, for whatever reason, they're very visible. They might be a teacher, they might be、um, in a very high ranking, high status position where everyone sees them. Um, everyone knows who they are. Everyone like,、uh, recognizes them. Okay, so I see pain, fa-、uh, excuse me, fame and popularity. And then I also feel as well, you know, this is somebody possibly with children. Their energy is very, very much focused on their children. If it's a love interest and you're wondering, you know, when are they going to call? Why aren't they making the time for me? While I'm waiting, I might as well, you know, talk to other people. And it's because they have other things on their, their plate. They have career, they have children, they have family, they have other, other things that h a s nothing to do with third parties. They're just you know, occupied with other things. And so if you're out and about and you know, flirting or teasing and、um, they, they catch wind of it, I feel like this is what I mean by it's pricking their ego, okay? So, I feel like some of you might be dealing with a fire sign. I'm getting just, just this ball of energy, someone who's, who has a lot of pride. And、um, the Sun card is、uh, indicative of Leo, but I also feel like Sagittarius, Aries. And I'm also sensing as well, I feel like the、um, Taurus, the fixed signs in particular, fixed signs are like, You're in it with me 100% or not at all. You know, they, they've got a lot of pride too. So, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo,、uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Okay? Their energy, the way you see them, we have the Fool. This is somebody who's a risk taker. This is somebody where it's like,、uh, I'm only, you know, 75% happy here. 
And to you, that that sounds good. But no, to them, they want 100% happiness. They want total completion. And so, if a situation is not, you know, bringing them that total 100% completion or happiness or satisfaction, they're gonna up and leave. And if a situation doesn't feel as stable as they'd like, they're gonna up and leave. And so, you're dealing with somebody that wants all or nothing. They might be telling you, you know, I want a commitment. And you might not be at a point where you want to commit to them. And I also feel as well, if this is a, a partner, they might need to pack up their bags and take a trip. Okay, they might be on a um, business trip. They might be, if they're like an actor or a dancer or a singer or somebody in the public eye, there's a lot of travel and movement for work. The two of you as well, I feel. There might be some arguments over flirtations and things like that, and they're also wondering. You know, I was there for you. I was there for you this whole time. We've been through thick and thin, and you know, why are you looking elsewhere? So I, I see this energy coming into the picture, but I feel like if you're not careful and if you don't take stock of who you want to be with and 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 make the gesture, make your feelings known to this person, they might pack up their bags and go. Okay, so be very, very careful how you tread the water energies, the emotions. Be very, very careful because somebody's got a lot of pride. Okay, and if they're not number one, they will up and leave. There's a lot of fear from your end about somebody leaving, and I feel like you might be keeping your options open because you are. Afraid that they're going to be leaving, or you are thinking they're not 100% devoted to me. Why should I be 100% devoted to them? There's this tit and tat type of energy, you know, keeping scores, trying to play it safe from your end, and then from their end, trying to play it safe. So it's a mirroring type of an energy, but from their end, they've got a lot of pride. And it's not about keeping their options open. It's more about you know I want to be number one in your eyes, and if I can't be number one, I'm not settling for second place. To them, it's a major step down, and it's somewhat of an, an embarrassment. So they're opting out. From your end, you might be keeping your options open because you don't want to invest in somebody if you know they're like one foot out the door. Okay, or if you feel like they've got other obligations elsewhere. So what ends up inevitably happening is、um, I have here the two of wands. This is like longing, waiting for another person. And so be careful about you know how you deal with this energy.、Um, some of you could be in a long distance relationship, or you're physically there, but you know your time schedules are different, so you don't really get to see each other. Um, you might have to commute to go to work. They might have to commute to to do whatever they need to do, and so the the window of time I feel is is reduced, is greatly impacting the relationship. And then if they're traveling as well, there's like long distance communication, and there's just this physical distance between you and a partner. And I feel like as well, it can indicate to me emotional distance. So make your intentions known. If you're dealing with somebody who is, you know, who wants to be the apple of your eyes, who who wants all the attention, focus on them, it can get tiring, right? It, it can. But I feel like they're worth it, and I feel like you know they they would give you one hundred percent if you can give them one hundred percent. So I feel like it's fair. Okay, so、um, just make sure that you're aware of this. Okay. If they pack their bags and go because they don't feel safe, they're gonna be gone. And you know that dog can like try to lure them back in. It's just not gonna work. Okay, their mind's already made up. And in particular, if you're dealing with a fixed sign, if their mind's made up, they're not going to backtrack. Okay.、Um, in your spiritual advice, I feel like once again that message about taking stock. As to what you have around you, being appreciative and being very, very thankful for all the abundance that's already in your environment. 
I feel a very strong, big, strong pregnancy vibe with this spread. I have here the Four of Swords. She's holding a heart is right on her stomach, like the lower abdomen. And then you can see the circle. Something is getting bigger. Okay, so it's like the womb. Um, some you might be pregnant. You might be dealing with somebody who's pregnant. And then I have the Empress. This is a huge pregnancy card. So I feel almost like there's、um, indications of pregnancy. If you've been hoping for that, I feel like you're going to get very positive good news. And then I have the Family card, Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Money is going to be coming in so fast and so much for you guys for this、um, this week. And I feel like you know if there has been home repairs or home renovation or or home projects that you've been holding off on because you're like,、oh, I don't want to splurge. I don't really want to waste the money. I don't know how much money is coming in. I feel like you're going to go ahead with it. I see hiring contractors, redoing the house, repainting. Um, possibly knocking some walls down to create like a sectional,、um, you know, like、um, making two rooms into one room or vice versa, making one room, splitting it up into two rooms. So there's huge、uh, indicators here about connecting with family, expanding the family unit, having really good soulful connections with family members, and incorporating somebody into your family environment. Lots of social gatherings、um, and lots of social events that are happening.、Um, this Empress vibe is also about savings. Okay, it's it's also about like、um, knowing where to put your money,、um, planning for the future. I feel like some of you might have three children, might have two children. So I'm seeing two and three. So、uh, your partner might have children. But either way, it's like a, a nest egg, okay? Saving for retirement, saving for a nest egg, saving for college funds for the kids, so that because you're you're at a point where the empress, you know, she's high on this leaf, she sees the forest for the trees, she sees so far into the future, and she knows how to plan. So not just what's in front of her, but she knows like okay. Uh, I'm going to need to save up. The kids are going to get older, and they're going to—I want them to go to college, so I'm going to start saving now. So I feel like there's a lot of financial savviness and a lot of planning, and just a lot of abundance that's coming in. You are appreciative of it. I feel that you are, but I also feel like with the spiritual advice is we have here the Seven of Cups. This is an energy that is a little bit frivolous. Okay. All the plans, all the fantasies, all the things that are shiny and just、um, extravagant, but at the end of the day, it's a fantasy. So it's this is kind of like emotional spending, or wasting your money spending on things that are not good for you, or spending on things that are overly priced, and then when you bring them home, you have buyer's remorse. Okay, so this is you fantasizing about you know where am I going to spend all this money, and in fact. The money should be saved for a rainy day. It should be saved for the nest egg.、Uh, whatever financial abundance that you have right now, your spiritual advice is to save it. Okay,、um, we should freeze up when it comes to spending. Okay,、um, Pisces. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, and I hope that it resonates so that you can move forward with this energy with a clearer sense of direction. Okay, take care of yourself. I'll be back next week, and I wish you all the very best for Halloween, for those who are celebrating, for those who are in the U.S., and stay safe. Okay, take care.